by the way, I also make art and I want to make sure that, you know, you had a confidence to come out because for me, one of the things that's been missing is I just put the art out, but I never put myself out. So that was a big challenge. With the, you know what I mean? Even when I did the rap, I was like, I, I didn't really put myself out like that. It was just more uh -huh. like, let me hide behind this art. Let me post and ghost, you know? So that's like something I'm really, <laughs> I'm still like dealing with that. Cause it's just like, oh, uh, well, I suffer a lot from imposter syndrome early on. Just like, mm. should I be doing this? There's people out here that's like really doing this. Like I'm comparing, I'm not comparing myself to anybody, but I'm thinking about Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale, yeah. he, he made the strangest secret. He has a super deep, rich voice like I do. So I always yes. kind of modeled my, my tone yeah. and vibe after his calm and chill. All right. But that's what I'm thinking about. And I'm like, ah, I shouldn't be. And then I would start comparing myself. I look at other people's pages and see what they're doing. And it's like, mm. Mm, I should be, you know, you should, you should never say I should be there. And that yeah. is when it doesn't become fun to create. That's right. Right. So growth awesome. mindset allowed me when I start studying the topic that I'm talking about, it allows me to recognize that moment quickly and throw it away and move on yeah. with good energy. Artists, creatives, and designers. I'm your host, Electra, and welcome to Dream Aloud Art, where we have educating, inspiring, and motivating conversations with creatives from around the world. Show some love and support by subscribing, liking this video, and uplift another creative by sharing this video. Let's tune in to another amazing conversation. Let's go. Artists, creatives, and designers, welcome to Dream Aloud Art on YouTube. And we have a very amazing, intelligent, gifted guest today, y'all. Now, who is he? It is the brother, Freed. Okay, Freed, hold on. Now, Freed is a Respect the Artist member, RTA member, okay? Don't know nothing about it? You need to click the links below so you can find out about it. But I want to give a quick plug because Freed has been riding with RTA for years now, and we are so glad to have him as part of our family. Now, a little bit about Freed before we dive into even more is that he's a multimedia artist and illustrator who is focused on helping creatives with growth mindset so they can break through limitations. Hold on. So they can break through limitations and confidently share their gifts with the world. Come on, y'all. Clap it up. Clap it up. We got Freed in the building. <laughs> Appreciate yes. you having me. Pleasure. It is a pleasure having you here. Good gracious, Freed. I am so excited. So I want to put a quick highlight on a few things, y'all. Freed, once again, artists, and he also has his platform on the podcast, okay? So he's making conversations, creating that safe space for us to feel more encouraged, y'all. And y'all know I'm all about that life, okay? Because we need that. I just feel like creatives need that boost, you know? So tell us, we're gonna go, we're gonna go down memory lane a little bit. So let's warm up to your history with being a visual artist. Cause I see all your work behind you, all your masterpieces. So, so tell us a little bit about when you first really started to feel like, mm, maybe I should lean more into demonstrating my creativity as far as visual arts is concerned. Mm. That's a great question. I've known for a very long time that I needed to share my gift. My father, mm. one of my earliest memories, my dad, he's a painter. He's also a musician. And I remember as a kid watching Purple Rain and he was painting a picture of a woman and I was playing with his saxophone and I had a little Star Wars toy. And I was just like, I'm going to draw this one day. And I'm looking at my dad draw so I felt like it was just like natural, like mm. to share that gift. So I've been drawing since a kid. I remember when I was in first grade, they gave us some clay. Mm. And this was my first experience with clay. And I made a kangaroo and everybody like passed it around. Like I remember this vividly as like a six-year-old. Oh and my gosh. That's, yeah. So that's when I knew it was like, okay, this is like something I need to get into. So as I grow up, uh, as a child, I'm a, a larger kid. I'm a husky kid. Yeah. <laughs> and I was very, um, I wouldn't say I was shy. I was very introverted always introverted. because mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't have like the, the newest things like I was, and I was kind of out of shape 
And mm-hmm. what I would do to make friends is I would sit at the, the cafeteria lunch table and I would just pull out, uh, you know, some some paper and just start right. Drawing. Right. Okay. And, and like I would draw Bart Simpson and Ninja Turtles and X-Men and everybody would just gather around and they'd be like, oh, this is cool. And then that's when I really mm-hmm. knew like, OK, this is a way to make friends. And I, I, I'm from Fresno, California. So mm. uh, it's a mix of different types of people and yeah. from different backgrounds. And coming up in the 90s, there was a lot of just like different influences, like a lot of gang influences and stuff like that. Mm. The art allowed me to stay central like I didn't have to get caught up in in, any like I was known for the art that's the artist he's cool right like hey you can come sit over here let him go right you know so it was like that art I feel like art saved my life right so I'm getting I'm getting deep into it but I knew early on like okay this is even when I would quit art which I've quit making art uh, a few times hiatus always comes back yes doesn't you it? You, you, you only quit if you stop doing it. So I don't quit. I hate, I'll take a hiatus, right? Hiatus. I understand. I so that's oh kind of long, long, long answer to your short question. No, that's <laughs> no, no, that's what we need. We need to know. And you have let us know most definitely. And so I, so of course my mind is pinging here because I have taught children, you know, so mm. I've taught like every grade level in uh grade school. So when when you and I have taught um, or actually I had covered for art teachers before and I love to do it. I actually I love to teach. So I love kids. So when I have a chance to do it, I just do it. Right. But. The, you you know, you never know what that child is going to remember because we remember stuff, you know. And so when I when I'm teaching children in an art class setting like I, I hype them up and rightfully so, you know, and it's like the look on their face is like what? Like someone actually sees my work and actually feels like it's really something and it's valuable. That stays with you. You know, like I remember those things. I remember some moments as a child where it's like this big uh aha. And so that's wonderful. I love that. And I love how you said about um, like you you were known as like the artist or like the kid who draws, right? Mm-hmm. Didn't we all know if we're not that one, but didn't we all know someone like that? Absolutely. Like, oh, he draws Marvin the Martian or like yes. the Rudy. Oh, I yeah. Oh, that's Don't great. Tunes, that's cool. That yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> all the vibes. Okay, real quick, y'all. Y'all make sure that you click all the links, have a click party. Click all the links in the description so you can support the homie Freed going forward. So, okay, we've touched on your some of your experience as an artist and your your uh, enlightened moments. You know, growing up, you're like, yes, like I want to lean into that. And of course, you know, sometimes we take a break, sometimes we take a hiatus, and sometimes it's just good to take a break. Period. But then, as you said, it's like it comes right back around. And so, I'm sure that you have had. <laughs> different things that you've dive into as a creative where you're like, you know, well, let me try this over here. This feels like it's more fluid. And it's like, ah, you know, I'm not really feeling that. What kind of advice can you give artists who are trying different things, but they get a little bit frustrated because they feel like they need to, oh, how can I say this? Cause you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get wired up in a minute here, but I'm, of course you got the mic on this one. They feel like they need to find that one thing that they can they can just consistently stick with forever and ever. Amen. And if they don't find it soon, then they're going to have a meltdown. You know, what kind of advice would you give that artist to stay stay encouraged, I guess, in those moments? That's a really good question. And oh. as a, an experienced gentleman who's been doing this for a while, I I believe that. I, for me personally, I could just speak mm-hmm. for experience. I was too focused on trying to find whatever that thing was versus being aware that, hey, you're in the process of finding it. And it's going to come to you as long as you oh stick with the central purpose. And I think that's where people get thrown off. There's not like a central purpose. Like if I have a central purpose, I know I'm an artist. And I, I saw this lady on Instagram and she has an affirmation. I wrote it down. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, it says, my my creative success is inevitable. Ugh. So I, I've been leaning into that. And uh, that's kind of, that's my central purpose. So I would mm. encourage any artist who doesn't know where to go. They're, they're focused. I'm like, where do I, you know, especially 
first of all, don't compare yourself because a lot of that is rooted in comparison. Mm. But um, for me, I, I felt like um, once I took a step back and realized that my central purpose is that my creative uh, success is inevitable, I can just, I could try everything. I could not necessarily dabble, right? Like mm, you want to have right. something that you're a master in. Right. Um, Absolutely. But like, that's, that's why I say I'm multimedia artist because I could do traditional sketch. I could do the, the graphics. I could, I could rap, you know what I mean? So it's like, there's a lot of, like, I would say all your art should be explored. Like you are put on this earth to express your gifts. And one other thing that, that hurt me is that I was a, I was too considerate of what others would think. Mm. And one thing you said, uh, Electra, is that uh, the supporter, that? <laughs> you said the supporters are going to support. Oh. You, you said that years ago on a live. Come on. Uh, and I just always thought that was just like real crispy. Like it just stuck Ooh. with me. Oh, so I appreciate that. I, yeah. So as I, as I, as I came out and I would tell folks as you're, as you're, as you're sharing your art with the world, as you're creating your art, create with the central purpose in mind, but also mm. cre- have some joy at the foundation of it. Mm. Because if you start chasing, you're going to lose joy. Now you're creating out of necessity. You're not necessarily Ooh. creating out of a, you know, from an authentic place in your heart, you know? So at least that's my experience. I, I've cost myself a lot of opportunities looking for that mm. one thing. And it's like, man, you could... You, you are the gift. Yes. So. Oh, God. That was too many gems. I don't have enough hands to hold all those gems. Oh, like, <laughs> that was a lot, Reed. That was a lot. And I know y'all drop some comments on that one. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, make yeah. sure that you watch the YouTube video uh, so you can get the full energy. And of course, get a glance at the masterpieces behind Freed, all of his work. Listen, that you just, you unpacked a lot right there there's mm-hmm. there's so much more that can be branched off from different things that you just mentioned no you know having that central what did you say what is it called like a central like a central purpose purpose okay mm-hmm. that is like it reminds me of artists who say that they you know well i enjoy photography ceramics and painting all that i feel like i need to like get more focused or maybe I shouldn't be doing that. And I feel like I'm all over the place. Here's the thing that I would promote to them is that if you, 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 there's, there's only two ways you can go here. You either feel all over the place and confused, or you can be confident in the fact that you enjoy these different mediums. Like you pick one, pick one. Okay. (laughs) Excuse me. But yeah, pick one <clears throat> because you can flourish if you lean into it and say, you know what? I accept that the that I love these mediums and I want to explore. Then then by all means do it. You know, but however, if you are trying to um be goal oriented and be a little more focused on creating a business out of this, then yes, it would help that you have some systems in place. That doesn't mean that you have to pick one. You just need to have systems in place in order to flourish with these things. So yeah, you know, but giving yourself that, uh, here we go, but giving yourself permission to explore without feeling like you need to move off survival and like, well, you know, I'm, I got to make this happen. I'm going to make this happen. It's like, okay, if joy is at the the center, as you had just mentioned, you know, if that's part of that foundation, then joy, I believe, would mean that you're moving with ease mm-hmm. and it feels natural for you to do this. If it doesn't feel natural, if you feel a little resistance inside, well, then try something else. Try a different method. Try a different medium. Like, go with what feels smoothest and that's that's just a lot. That was really powerful. This is why you got a podcast, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why got a podcast. that's what's up. I appreciate yes. it. Yes. Yes. And y'all know, okay, so we're okay. Woosa. All right. So we're <laughs> I'm so wired up because we're going to lean more into or lean the discussion, move the discussion more into confidence, growth mindset, because we Y'all, we have to make these things a talking point, okay? Y'all know that big C word, confidence. I am so all about that. I have a book about it, okay? The Confident Artist. So uh, come on. All right, Free. 
So, oh gosh, where shall we start when it comes to competence? <laughs> Let's start with, okay, and I'm putting my myself in the shoes of an artist who just generally feels like they're not very confident in their creations, okay? Mm -hmm. What is the starting point for them? If they know that, like, let's just say, here's a popular one, is that they, they create, draw, paint, you know, graphic design, whatever. They're creating behind closed doors. And they, it's not out of the journaling Right. Because that's one thing if you're just journaling and you're doing that for your own enjoyment mm -hmm. and you're not really trying to share it. But it's another thing when you have that little inkling of a thought of like, I kind of feel like I should be sharing this. Right. So but they're not confident in what they're doing. What mm -hmm. is a good starting point for them to just kind of lean more into that confidence that they already have? Yeah, that's a great question. So the best way to quickly gain confidence, in my experience, is to <laughs> get Guess proof. What? Is to get proof of of your concept. So the the way mm -hmm. that I've done that is I, I will go study a master in the field, or maybe find something that I can add to my art that I haven't tried yet. So okay. here's an example. I I'm learning more about perspective. Like that's I want to master perspective. One point to infinity. Mm, mm. So I put out. I, I I spent hours learning about perspective. I studied Ooh. all these different people, and then I made a little warm up and, and animated it, and I put it out, and it, it blew up. Mm. And I was like, okay, now I got proof. So now I'm going to start making more designs with perspective in mind, because I went and got proof that people liked it. They were curious. They were like, what is mm. this? So I always feel like just training, like I'm a, I'm a lifelong student uh, as an artist. I feel like we should always be studying and, and not just, mm. not just like your medium, but like I study life because I believe art is life. Right. So especially looking at perspective, now everything I see, I'm like looking oh. at it in 3d space. Like I'm looking at it from different angles and points. Oh so God. if you want to get confidence, I would say go spend like invest 10 to, to 30 minutes on some sort of YouTube tutorial that you yeah. can learn something new, mm -hmm. a concept, a style. You can learn about composition, whatever, something that you have not tried that mm. would be easy for you to implement and then share it. Maybe share it. if you if you're talking about sharing it online, maybe to start with your stories, um, but you can even share it with your friends, with your family, start sending it mm. to them you know, build like different separate accounts if you don't want to mess up your, you know, your main account, right? I got Absolutely. like 10 different Instagrams. So there, there are different things that you could do, but I would say that the confidence starts in learning and then applying and then sharing. And then, yes. then you got to follow it up with consistency. Yes. Ooh, my, another favorite word of mine is consistency. Boy, what? Absolutely. That is so good. Thank you so much for that, Freed. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. When when I've taught artists about gaining more confidence, and I air quote that because it's not like you're seeking outside of yourself. Like people say, well, I got to get more confident. I mean, the confidence is already there. You just got to like access it. You know, that's that's all. But touching on having knowledge, right? Having that knowledge, mastering or or stay, you know, stay in the process of mastering, right? Mm -hmm. But that consistency and you're gaining the knowledge that that's how you build confidence. And a simple example that I use is I will ask someone, what's your name? And then they'll tell me their name. And then I'll say, well, is it okay if I call you something else? And then they're like, no. And I tell them that's how, that's how rooted you have to be in what you're doing. It's like, you know who you are. Like my name's Electra. And no one else can tell me that, that it's something else. I know who I am. So yeah, absolutely. Getting that knowledge and really that just increases you, your confidence. It does. It just does. Yes, but yes, consistency, that's a whole nother, you know what I was going to say? It's a whole nother topic, but let's touch on consistency. Sure. So share, if you will, Fareed, share a little bit about what consistency looks like. And yeah, basically, let me stop right there. What consistency looks like, because I feel like artists don't do themselves justice for the ways they're already consistent. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what, you know, like 
here's a simple example. Artists will ask me, well, how often should I post on Instagram? Well, how often? I mean, like, you know, like, what does that look like? Do, so do you think that posting every day, this is what, you know, they'll ask me, do, should I post every day? Because that would be more consistent. Okay, so you're telling me if you post once a week, that's not consistent. If you post two or three times a week, that's not consistent. You know, so can you dive more into consistency where an artist can actually feel like after listening to your response, they can feel like, okay, I am consistent. This is how I've chosen to be consistent. And I can feel good about that. Absolutely. Consistency is so it's just such a thing, you know? So, but yeah, can you, what can you share about consistency? Yeah. So the art of being consistent starts with structure. You talked about structure earlier, mm. which I wrote down. I love that. Structure mm. system, systems is what you mentioned. Systems. But yeah, systems absolutely. Systems. So um, you want to have a system in place with structure. And I, so when I started my podcast, I started it in 2022. It was early 2022. And I did a lot of research and one of the gentlemen who I uh, learned from said that you want to give yourself a set amount of time where you will show up weekly or daily within that time frame. So in this case, it was 35 weeks. So mm. I was like, oh, 35 weeks, almost, that's almost a year. <laughs> you know? right. But um, I needed to throw myself into it. I needed to accumulate the hours. I needed to mm. have the whack videos. I needed to put everything out and experiment, you know. So within right. that 35 weeks, by the time we got to week 35, I had already built like a nice following. And then mm. beyond week 35, that's when it started to you know, mm. blow up, right? Mm -hmm. like, Absolutely. Yeah, for you something that was so traction. fresh. Yeah. So it was like um, having that system of, hey, I'm going to do this. So if you're a new artist, I would, and, and if we're talking in a sense of social media or just sharing online, that's something I'm still working on. Right. I'm very modest and I don't always share like my art as much as I need to. Mm. And I, I mentioned offline that I had been gatekeeping myself. You know, that's another, that another thing. conversation. <laughs> but but I, I would say like if you're a new artist, like I would come up, I would show up every day. Mm. Like I'm After this video, uh, after this call, like I'm making a commitment to share my art every day, at least for the next two weeks, mm. just 14 days. And that mm. could be hard because, you know, there's a lot of things that like I, for me personally, I'm a family guy. Like I, there are a lot yeah. of responsibilities, but yep. it, it, as you can see, I, I've invested in myself and I, I keep this around me to remind me like, Hey, like you're, you're, you're dope, you know? That's so right. yes. Yeah, so for the new artist, consistency starts with committing to uh, mm. a number and yes. showing up. Yes. Woo. Good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Like That's okay. mind blown. Okay. Because all of that, all gems all day, every day, like, whew. all right. So commitment. All right. I was just talking, I was just speaking with an artist the other day about commitment yeah. and what I, what I shared with them is that you have to come to grips with the fact that you're not going to show up at some point, like stop resisting, making a commitment because I'm afraid I won't show up. It's just bound to happen. That's life. You have a job that you're committed to. You don't show up to that job every day. You know, like things happen in life and it will like sideswipe you a little bit, but that doesn't mean you're a loser now, <laughs> Like, you know, but just at least mentally say I'm making that commitment. Mm -hmm. And then just keep moving forward. You'll be thrown off course. Yeah. But then get back on course. Like it's okay. And so I love that. And that was enough. I got to, I need to write a list of like all the C words <laughs> here. You know what I'm saying? Confidence, mm -hmm. consistency, you know, all of these. So yeah, that is wonderful. Thank you for that. Absolutely. So good. Okay. Y'all, y'all better show some love. Y'all, we always hollering out artists support artists, right? So make sure you click those links in the description and holler at the homie freed. Okay. Support him on not only his Instagram page for his art, we're talking about his podcast here. So let's dive a little more into that. Let's dive a little more because I want to talk about 
staying encouraged, staying encouraged. So a lot, there's, there are a lot of different frustrations that um, creators have, but I will ask that in your capacity, your podcast, and with artists who have been reaching out or connecting with you or in just conversations, what are some of the top frustrations that you hear from creatives or of course, even your own, you know, that you could connect with, but what are some of the top ones? I feel like the top frustrations when it comes to being a, a creator and staying encouraged is that at some point as you're doing it, okay, at some point as I was doing it, okay, it, it became a chore. Like, oh, you know what? I don't even want to oh. do this. So <laughs> you're going to get me real, hollering? Yeah, I was like, yo, I don't want to do this. And it was a lot. And then at the top of the year, I went through the consideration phase of do I even want to do this? Like I'm, mm. I, and I say this, I say this with love, like in real life, Absolutely. like I'm a very uh, dope person. So I do a lot of things. Like I make my money offline, mm. but I also work online and I'm into tech and all of that. So I have all these ah. other things that I'm into. Awesome. Um, and the art again is for joy. So it took until recently when I uh, found this new animation program where my spark for art, like really came back like hard. Ooh. So I'm learning. Ooh. It's making me want to learn all this other stuff. So to stay encouraged, I would say I would take it back to the central purpose. Like, what are you mm. like? I didn't do this for the likes. I had one video really blow up. My first video blew up. Then I got caught up in the likes. I was like, oh, oh. man, 100,000 likes. Let's go. You know what I mean? But you know, hey, the, 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 I did get some money, but it didn't, it didn't, yeah, it didn't like, it wasn't life changing to do that. So it was like, yeah. what's life changing for me is creating something that's going to bring joy to people mm. and, and creating something that I learned how to do and, and I'm still learning. So that's, that's what's really like got me pivoting back mm. versus um, being like, I don't really want to do this because it can be frustrating to kind of be at the, the will of um the the, uh, the social media companies, you know, yes, um, yes. And, and the YouTubes and all that. But I yep. think also, I believe that it's a good opportunity if you stick it out and you just stay at it. Even yes. if you take a hiatus, like right now on the yes. podcast, mm -hmm. I'm not posting every day on the podcast. I'm posting like frequently, but not yes. every day because sure. I'm working on my art. Like now mm -hmm. I've, I've got enough consistency to where when I do come out, I want to come out consider it. I don't want to just come out just to come out. So um, yes, yeah, so absolutely. Would, no doubt. Yes. Yeah, so I would just tell folks, mm. take it back to the central uh, purpose and continue to learn new mm. things. Don't stay stale and, and, and engage with other people uh, because as right. you engage with other people, you're going to bring new people to you, even if it's not the people that you're engaging with. Mm. Um, so those are things that have helped me uh, as I take my breaks and come back into it uh, to stay encouraged. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that. What? Okay, so as as per usual throughout this conversation, you have been dropping more gems. I need to take notes. I got a notebook right here and I guess I just like looking at it, but I'm just so locked into the conversation. I can't like I'm trying to like take it in, but oh my gosh, you just you you really hit on some points, some really strong points here. Um especially when it comes to let me see that. Oh, uh, yes. The consistency, but something that you said made me reference the word intentional. And so this is, okay, artists, listen up, put your pens down, put your iPads down, unless you're watching this on your iPad, whatever, okay, focus, hear us, okay, intentional. So when it comes to being consistent, all right, what I would teach coach one-on-ones, all of that, what I say is, or I strongly suggest is to make sure you're intentional. This isn't about just going through mindless movements. Okay. Like every day I do this thing. If, unless that's part of your learning process is for you to get to a point where you're like, okay, this doesn't look like it's getting any results. Right. But to be intentional, that is so critical because you could spend, this is just a plug for some of y'all, right? A little, little tip. You could spend one hour, maybe even two hours being extremely intentional, creating a reels. And that thing might go much further with just one reel 
in a week than it would just creating random reels throughout the week. It's not your frequency. It's how intentional you are and how intentional you are to tailor that thing. And look at Freed's setup. If y'all are on the podcast, take a break. <laughs> Go check out the YouTube video because Freed's setup shows me and most of us that he is very intentional with his presentation. And that takes some effort. That takes focus. You know what I'm saying? So being intentional and then being consistent, but tying those two things in there as you move forward. Super powerful, super powerful. Woo, okay. Absolutely. Deep breath and I just, I need a sip. I need to take a sip. It's just a lot. So, Take Take yeah, I'm telling you, oh my goodness. So what, okay, so you have just shared, you know, a little bit of the frustrations, some things that you've experienced too, but do you also have artists that are, whether they're DMing you, whether they're commenting, what are, are you having artists that are being vocal about, Hey, I can relate to this or like, oh my gosh, like I experienced that all the time. Mm -hmm. You do. They're yeah, being artists, vocal. Our artists are very vocal, uh, specifically yeah. in the DM. And this is one of the you talk about mm -hmm. encouraging uh, or encouragement. Uh, as long as I get one person that reaches out, I could be like, "Damn, I don't really want to put this video out, even though I've got all this content." I get lazy sometimes, and mm -hmm. then I remember someone reached out. I was someone told me recently. I look. They're on the other side of the world. I <sighs> look forward to reading or to hearing your podcast every morning. So it's just like, wow, really? Okay, well, let me post more. You That's know what I mean? wonderful. Like, so yeah, so um, yeah. But see, that opens you up, though, too. You know, you had touched on something earlier about, um, what did you say earlier? See, this is why I need to take notes. No, you're good. I've been taking <laughs> notes so, on you. You're, I'm so you're in the moment, gems. though, right? You're good, you're but good. you had touched on something earlier, basically, basically about what's life-changing. That's what it was, life-changing yeah. things. And so it's like, you may have made, you know, we may have received a response from social media. You may have fallen in love with the likes and the comments and all of the viral spin and all this too. Mm -hmm. But where are you feeling like there's a breakthrough for yourself? You know, what, what is, what does that look like? And sometimes my artists out here, they get, and I love them. Of course, I love and I respect my artists. That's why we have respect the artists, right? That's the artist community. But sometimes they get really caught up in just how much money am I going to make? Like how much, tell me how much money I'm going to make. Let me focus on that. Look, I've been through it. Freed, you've been through it. I'm sure, you know, you get a significant, whether you, you're getting a significant amount of money, you've gotten paid a lot, whatever that looks like, a lot of money. But then are you really feeling like you're evolving? Are you really feeling fulfilled? Like in that, and that is, listen, that is prime like to have that before like when you have that foundation of joy what well, you were just mentioning about joy earlier when you have that foundation of joy when you're very confident and you're you're embracing your confidence every i say it like this because it's true everything else hit different every like is is it's a it's a different kind of like <laughs> like it's like oh my gosh you know like when my dream aloud art page when i had like 12 followers and then it went up to 25 and it was like oh my gosh i was so excited because i was literally doing the same thing i'm doing right now just supporting artists talking about artists highlighting them featuring them like that makes me happy yes but having that foundation every follow comment like dm everything just hits different mm -hmm. so yeah yeah that's it's just so critical artists i can't put enough emphasis on that you know what freed is talking about like that's that's like that's a real energy it's a real energy if I'm if I may interject briefly, one no, of the things that you, this look, one let's the, go. Good. Well, one of the things that I, I've been I've been going back and forth, like, how am I going to present myself on this? Um, <laughs> I disrespect you so much, right? Uh I I think one of the things I believe one of the things that you've mastered that I'm inspired by is uh, mm. community. Because mm. I think that's something that helps people to stay encouraged. I got into RTA way back way back when right back in the day and, um, yeah, and, and it helped and even when i went away and then i came back and y'all were open um it just community will help you to stay encouraged i just i really appreciate you for creating a community 
Uh, there are no communities like this that I've seen. I've, I'm, I've been in different communities, um, but mm. one that just focuses on artists, like visual, I see a lot of visual art mostly. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. So just thank you for that. I just want to say that briefly. Oh, it is. Look, it is my pleasure. I certainly appreciate it. And, you know, yeah, I guess it kind of has, it's, it's had me concerned, especially for the past few years that I don't really see that, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. And just a quick plug, y'all, we would love to get back on our app again. Fred, you were on our app, right? We, when we had our app, gosh, yeah, we would so love to, app. but it's so like the kind of, and just a quick, quick information, y'all, we used to have an app. Okay. So we used to have an app, but the traffic for the artists that were, it, it was a good problem. The traffic for the artists that were coming through and wanted to sign up for RTA was too overwhelming for that particular platform to keep, to keep the, how can I say, to keep the data, like to keep up with how many people wanted to join RTA. So they were, that company was like a too, too amateur. I guess they're, they're not amateur, but they work with smaller communities okay and we're like we ain't trying to be small <laughs> like we're trying right. to, you know so the that was a good problem um but yeah i would definitely i'm definitely praying on leaning back into that and coming back really strong you know mm -hmm. like get get a platform that can actually support some high traffic most and 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 high gigabytes and all that because we know <laughs> artists love these big old files. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they we do. We love they videos do. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely my pleasure, Freed. So, uh, so yeah, I'm so. Let me say this real quick, y'all. To have another artist have a you know podcast where he is continuously putting out that message of confidence, encouragement, growth mindset, all of that. Man, that is so refreshing. We, we we need more of that. We we really do, y'all. We really need more of that. So once again, y'all, make sure you support, follow on Instagram, follow the podcast on Freed's podcast. Click all those links in the description. It would be appreciated. Um, but yeah, so let me because I'm I'm a little curious about what topics fall under the growth mindset? You know, what are some topics that you dive into with growth mindset? And I'll say for me, like my first thought, growth mindset um, usually is associated with success, like the ideas of success, um, even leaning toward things like financial freedom and all of that, uh, entrepreneur life. But so tell me a little more about what growth mindset means for you and how you're discussing that. It may not be those things, but I'm, so I'm just wondering what that looks like. Yeah. I believe growth mindset to me looks like uh, the intangibles. Uh, so persistence, okay. persistence is definitely like the oh, main okay. thing, Ooh, right? So, um, okay. I got yeah. you. Persistence, self-belief, personal development, uh, that's what growth mindset looks like to me. Um, mm. Success, I mean, whatever your whatever your uh, definition of success is, that's the outcome, right? right? Uh, so that's that's going to be for you. I, I believe that's the outcome of of applying those intangibles uh, of of overcoming like those self limiting beliefs. That's so good. Uh, wait, yeah. hold on. Let me catch that because that's yeah. really good. You said outcomes. Success is outcomes. Yeah, I believe that so. is so good. Okay, that is so good. That just blew my mind. Mm. Amazing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I've, I've just I just evolved a little bit more. My aura oh, yeah. got stronger. So That's thank you. Up. Thank your, you for your, that. Yo, your energy is super dope. I, I can dig it. Um, yeah, I just <laughs> I, I yeah for growth mindset for me like so one of the reasons I took a hiatus is uh, mm. I had and I'm gonna get a little personal here. Let's uh, do it in in 2021. Uh, I lost my mom and mm. I had lost her. Like she, she, she passed away right before her birthday. So <laughs> it was, it was super so devastating. Sorry. I appreciate yeah. you. Thank you. Um, so I had to, I remember, I remember like that weekend, just not wanting to draw. Like I'm done creating. Uh, like that was it. Like I had lost, uh. I had lost my brother before, like years ago. And uh, mm. that made me stop rapping. And I, I didn't want to do music anymore. So losing my mom was just like, it was really like 
heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. So a couple of days, a couple of days later, um, a couple of days later, uh, I get a, a email from the Arizona Cardinals. And they were like, hey, we got your art. We about to uh, we want to collaborate with you, put this art out. Oh and, my gosh. Uh, and they put it out. And they put it out like the day of like it was the season opener. So they put it out on their social media page. And I remember being so down in the dumps. And I almost felt like that was like a like a spiritual, like, ah. like a message from my mom. Like, nah, you're gonna keep mm. drawing. Mm. You didn't make it this far just to make Ooh, it this so far. Ah. Right. So it was just one of those things where. I um and I'm 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 kind of going on a tangent now. I'm I'm trying to recall the original question. I'm so sorry. Um it's just no, one of those fine. things that yeah, okay. I just I I knew growth mindset. Mm. I could talk about all types of stuff, right? Like I could talk about how to make art, which I am going to be doing that. Yeah. Um, and I'm excited to do it now. Yeah, uh, I could talk about how to raise a dog, I could talk about how to be a dad, I could talk about <laughs> relationships, all types of different things I could talk about. But I feel like none of that really has as much sizzle if you don't mm. apply the concept of growth mindset, because that's mm. where it starts is to just mm. have like that belief. So as I'm going through the grief of losing my mother, uh, uh, someone close to me started a podcast and they wanted me to just listen to it because mm. I've been doing video calls for years. Like as a profession, I do demonstrations over video. Um, and um, so they wanted me to give them feedback. So I gave them feedback. And I guess the feedback was so good that they asked me to be their manager. So I was like, wow, they want me to be a manager, huh? Well, maybe I could do this myself. So that's when I was just considering, like, what do I talk about? What do I start with? And yeah. I felt like it, at that period of time, a lot of people were had lost a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I true. wanted to help them to overcome, or not necessarily overcome, but just like, hey, you're not by yourself. You you have Absolutely. a genuine guy here. There's no judgment. I'm just want to help you to stay strong mentally as you go through what you go through. Right. Uh, but I want to focus more on the positive, you know, like I, that, that's how I'm leaning into the good vibes, into the good energy and just mm-hmm. growth mindset. Like I, I listened to like, uh, I used to watch a lot of infomercials when I was a kid. We didn't have cable. So infomercials was on. That's the only thing that was on like 24 seven. So I'm up at one in the morning watching infomercials and Tony Robbins would come on. And uh, I, so I thought it was corny that initially. I was like, ah. but then as I got older, once I became an adult, I um, started listening to folks like Earl Nightingale and mm. Jim Rohn and mm. uh, Les Brown. And yes. uh, it became real to me, like, oh, oh it's yep. helping me. So and this, this is information that's been around for like since the seventies, maybe even before a then, long right? 50s, time. 60s. Yep. Yeah. So it's like, mm-hmm. let me put out something that that I can leave behind for my sons and their sons, and like this, like a hump thinking a hundred years out. Like, what kind of messages mm. do I want to have resonate with people? Ooh. By the way, I also make art, and I want to make sure that you know you had a confidence to come out because for me, one of the things that's been missing is I just put the art out, but I never put myself out. So that was a big challenge. With the, you know what I mean? Even when I did the rap, I was like, I, I didn't really put myself out like that. It was just more like, let me hide behind this art. Let me post and ghost, you know? So that's like something I'm really, I'm still like dealing with that. Cause it's just like, oh, uh, well, I suffer a lot from imposter syndrome early on. Just like, mm. should I be doing this? There's people out here that's like really doing this. Like I'm comparing, I'm not comparing myself to anybody, but I'm thinking about, Earl Nightingale. Earl Nightingale, yeah. he he made the strangest secret. He has a super deep, rich voice like I do. So I always yes. kind of modeled my my tone yeah. and vibe after his calm and chill. All right. But that's what I'm thinking about. And I'm like, ah, I shouldn't be. And then I would start comparing myself. I'd look at other people's pages and see what they're doing. And it's like, mm. Mm, I should be, you know, you should, you should never say I should be there. And that yeah. is when it doesn't become fun to create. That's right. Right. So Growth okay. mindset allowed me, when I start studying the topic that I'm talking about, it allows me to recognize that moment quickly and throw it away and move on yeah. with good energy. Mm, mm, that is so good. Oh my gosh. Listen. Okay. So now you have given me perspective because I feel like I have been talking about growth mindset and I didn't even know it, I guess. Yeah, you definitely. I mean, you got me going because I'm like, you know, really... Focusing on confidence and really, you know, giving a lot of energy to that and understanding the importance of that. 
that does feel like it's along those lines of growth mindset and how you're communicating about it. And I never, you know, I never thought about that, but that is, yeah, that's good. Especially, you know, you touched on the legacy that you want to leave and it's, you know, well, you touched on a lot of different things, but it's so, uh, well, you touched on the legacy uh, and uh, let, let me speak on that too, or let me respond to that because, you know, how do you want to be remembered, you know, uh, but it's also important that you are, that you find joy in how it is that you want to be remembered. You know, if you are that artist who wants to focus purely on the art itself, wonderful. You know, do you find yourself in that state of joy while you're doing that, while you're creating? Okay, then lean into that. But then I know for someone like myself, I like, it's... I have, it's almost like the most potent energy that I could ever create is vocal, you know, so it's to have this, to hold the mic is to teach, is to have a platform, is to have a stage, is to have an audience. That's just, you know, like when I was a child, um, I, and as a child and into my adulthood, even now, but, but now as a little, I'm a little calmer, but I will say all my life, I remember sitting among the audience and that felt strange. Mm. It feels more natural for me to be in front. Like mm. that some people are usually like, what? Like, I, like, no, trust me. When I'm, when I sat in a class, I would just feel like this is odd. When I got in front of the class, it felt, I felt better. Like, I'm like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be, you know? And yeah. so, so just like recognizing those things, leaning into those moments, what like what feels very natural for you, and then connecting that to legacy. What am I speaking about? Right. So it's not just like, oh, okay, I could speak because I used to sing, you know, but I didn't, that didn't feel like a lifelong thing I was gonna be doing, right? <laughs> so it's like, what what is really resonating with you? How is how is it impacting not only myself, but others, you know, like that legacy, man, it's so critical, but let's connect to another thing you were talking about. You said so much, Reed. you said so much, you know, um, sure. well, you said ghosts and uh, what do you say? Posts and ghosts? Post what? And ghosts. Like, I, yeah, yeah, do a lot of that. I do that to this you day. You had me going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so good. Um, but you also touched on putting yourself out there, you know, getting more personal and, uh, well, you know, doing things that feel personal to you, I'll say, but yeah, putting yourself out there. And, you know, I always, I always tell artists that it just really, when people are looking at your work, I mean, it all depends on what you're trying to do period. Okay. But when people look at your work, that's one thing. They, if they look at your work by itself and that really resonates with them and that gets them to take action, that's great. That's wonderful. But listen, if you are in person with someone and you're selling your work in person, there have been so many artists that I have spoken with where they share that they sell more work in person than they do online. And I that's because we get we get to see the artists, we get to get the experience of you, your energy, your words, your conversation, all of that. And that just it just hits completely different, you know? Right. So just putting yourself, your actual self out there, being more authentic, you know? Um, and don't be afraid of that because as you had mentioned earlier too, <laughs> excuse me, is that the supporters, they are going to support, right? Yeah. You were, you know, referencing something I said a while ago, but mm -hmm. they just, you know, like don't, don't get caught up in all, all this extra stuff that's out here. You know, I mean, it's really good to, have certain desires and say, yeah, I would love to have this desired result, but what feels good? What feels right for you? Yes. What makes you feel balanced at the end of the day? So, oh my gosh. You dropping gems too. Yo, I got, I got a whole, I got a whole oh, page yes. of notes. <laughs> Let's go. I don't show up. I'll tell you, I'm a lifelong student. Like if you come on here, got to be. you're, you're a teacher right? A master teacher. Why would I not take, why would I not take notes? Like I'm learning from what? you. I want to build, oh, I want to build gosh. a community. I want to have folks, Listen. you know what I'm saying? Like the mindset awards, you know, like, I want to do something like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying like, yeah, like, 
if for artists, if any artist come on comes on here, like mm-hmm. I would hope that they're open to learning. Like I could talk about mm-hmm. myself, but I'm more interested in learning what you have to say um, because you're dope yeah. and you're 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 doing things at a higher level than places that I want to get to. So mm. yeah, so yeah, you're, oh, you're I appreciate you're dropping it. Dropping gems, yeah. I, you know, I appreciate that, but you know what? I'm going to share a quote with you because it's stuck with me and I feel so bad right now in this moment because I don't remember who said it. But yeah. if any of y'all want to Google it, please Google it and drop it in the comments for whomever said it. But there is a quote that somebody well-known has said, but it had to do with like the greatest teachers are the same ones who are also a student, you know, like the best teachers are the best students, something along those lines, because as much as I love to talk, and I was just talking to my friends about this, this weekend, Mm -hmm. as much as I love to talk, when there's someone that I want to learn from, I know how to zip it up. I know how to be like honed in, focus, Mm -hmm. because I'm still open to growing and learning. Like, even though I'm doing some of the same things I did when I started my Dream Aloud art page, if you if you scroll all the way back and you look at the first videos that I did, it's nothing compared to what I have going on right now. Mm-hmm. However, I'm humble enough, right? And we have to be humble enough to realize that if we're still evolving, then a year later, it's not gonna look the same as it is right now. Two years later, it's not gonna look the same either. So just keep leaning into being open to receiving that information, receiving that knowledge. Um, and there's just, there's so much to, there's just so much to explore. And there's so much that it just feels like a, a reward to my soul. You know, if yes. you just artists, if you just keep leaning, leaning into that creativity Mm-hmm. And I know some people say dabbling and that just, I just feel like, you know, they just give such negative energy to dab. I know you said dabbling earlier, yeah. right? But there's, but there's a special, if you're, let me say, if you're moving forward with the, with positivity, there mm-hmm. is a special, there's like a, a, how can I say this? I guess moving forward with a joyful energy in the dabbling, then it doesn't feel bad. You know, it feels like you're giving your, you're allowing yourself to do this. So, so I love kids, right? And what I love most about kids, Fareed, is that like kids don't overthink stuff. Now I'm talking about more, more in the ranges of like between five to eight okay where they're at least talking and communicating and you know they have a general idea of what's right wrong in their minds right but yeah they can just do whatever look hold on i got some stuff right here all right this kid because you know i keep all the art they give me right so okay. this kid <laughs> did this and, nice. and i don't i don't remember the kids oh they put i love you miss frederick okay that's my, okay i love you miss frederick but when they did this they were nice. so excited like that. They were just like, look what I did for you. And then, of course, you know, my response, I was like, oh, you know, so I'm jumping up and down and that just encouraged them to create more. So like that mm-hmm. child in us, like it's not talk like when people say, you know, oh, the child in you and I, we're not I'm not refer when I say it, I'm not referring to like being immature, you know, or childish. OK. But it's to give, just allow yourself to just do, just do it. Just, you know, roll with it. Don't think like that child is not thinking about who's going to like this when I post it. Like True. about that. Mm-hmm. They do it and they do it with excitement. Yes. You know, so just yes. like that kind of energy when you're like, you know what? Mm, let me try a little bit of blue. Let me try a little bit of this. Mm-hmm. Let me crumple it up in a ball. Let me open it back up again. And find joy in that, that that doesn't feel like, oh, I better come up with something to make me money. You know, yeah. it's like, <laughs> but that's what we do sometimes, mm-hmm. right? But, and I understand, um, you know, with the things that we're we're vibing on, Freed, yes, I understand. As an adult, yeah, you do have responsibilities and all of that too. But once again, it's the, what, what kind of energy are you giving those responsibilities? Like when I say systems, oh man, that's a trigger word for some artists. You're like systems, yeah. we're anti-construct. We don't need systems. And I say, you know what? You got a digestive system, don't you? You got a nervous system. That's beautiful, isn't it? 
you know, systems are good. Systems are needed. We need systems, you know, to live. So coming up with a system for your business, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just giving it some order, giving it some structure, but we're going to give a good energy to that. You know what I'm saying? Reed feels me. My fellow podcaster. Absolutely. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, (laughs) Y'all, once again, y'all, please click the links in the description. Support the homie Freed. Y'all, this this like having creative platforms where we can have conversations. Critical. So critical. And Freed, wait, where are you? Where are you at? Like what state are you in? Yeah, I'm in Arizona. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. Shout outs to the West Coast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's dry yeah. heat land. Isn't it dry heat out there? Uh, you know what? It's just like, so you know, I'm from like I mentioned I'm from Fresno. Okay. I guess I'm at a point now where like hot is hot. You know what I'm saying? Arizona, though, I will say this. Last summer was probably <laughs> the hottest summer on record. Oh, I don't wow. know if it was a yeah, I don't know if it's a dry heat. I don't know what it was. I just know it was super hot, like 120 what? degrees. Whoop. And my and my AC broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I was gosh. like, yeah, it was it was a, it was a grind of a summer. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but you know, I love I love Phoenix. I moved out here uh, 21 years ago, and it's oh my gosh, beautiful experience living in Phoenix. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I was just wondering because y'all, we we have uh, Freed and I were just sprinkling a little bit of thoughts as far as in person interviews. And uh, of course, with respect to artists, we have had some meetups before, but to be more intentional, right? Students, art students out there, you taking notes, but intentional with those meetups, even supporting, okay? Because uh, recently I had interviewed um, Shanice's Pieces, who's also a Respect the Artist member, and she's out in Texas. And so she has her own gallery and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I would love to come out there. You know, so I was just gauging where you're at because we would like, if we can get like members to just like, hey, come out and support each other in different ways. Once again, that in person energy, that's next level. That's real life. You know, like that's real life. This, this is part of your real life experience too. Mm-hmm. But in person, yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah. So Freed, oh my gosh, this this has been such an amazing conversation. I have grown. I have grown <laughs> some growth mindset. I have definitely um, taken away. But I'm going to ask because I used to do the word game and I still mm-hmm. love the word game, but I want, I want to uh, give a little more, you know, give some well, I don't even know what to call them. I just call them questions, but it's really yeah. like you're filling in the blank. Okay. So you're uh-huh. filling in the blank. We're going to, we're going to like segue onto that. All right. Okay. So confidence is Oof. confidence is Conf- confidence is supreme. <laughs> mm-hmm. Confidence is supreme. That's the first thing that came to mind. Yes. Okay. That's good. All right. Creativity is. Creativity is life. Mm. That's it. Y'all, come on now. Anything that exists had to be created. All right. Mm. I believe. The next one is I believe. You know, the first thing that came to my mind is I believe in God. Mm. Yes. I I have to have some, I have to have some sort of, and I don't want to, I won't get too like religious or spiritual, but there is just. I'm but very I'm grounded in. Are you okay? I'm very grounded in my spirituality, mm. and you know, when I go out, we talk about creativity. When I, I take my dog out for walks, and I appreciate every step on that walk. I appreciate yeah. from, from the from the concrete I'm walking on to the sun that hits my face. Like, yeah. it's something that it, it's a higher power that created That's all right. of this beauty. And mm. um, yeah, so I'm gonna go too too deep in the weeds, but I no, I love it. that. No, listen, I've had some interview. I've interviewed some artists where that's like the majority of our conversation. <laughs> like it's okay. like 30 okay. minutes we are talking yeah. about that. So yes, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm extremely, um, I am well, extremely. I don't know. That sounds kind of hardcore, but I will say <laughs> I'm very aware of my yes. spirituality, and yeah. um, yeah, yeah, that that's. That's a core thing for me. So yes, shout out to you. Gratitude is everything too. You know, I love that. Okay. So the next one is love is love is. 
Oh, I was gonna say love never fails. <laughs> um, okay. But mm. love is love is uh, love applied never fails, right? Yeah. Right? So uh, I just uh, I, that's that's my that's my feeling. That's blank. good. Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, two more. Time is of the essence. Time Ooh. is of the essence. Let's get to it. Right. Like, let's like I say, when we done with this, I'm going to follow you. We're on the same wavelength because I was going to yep. follow you. And then I got caught up in trying to clean everything up. I wanted a nice space, cleaning up, vacuuming. And um, <laughs> but then you was like, I, I, I found a podcast. I said, like, yep. oh, my gosh, like we're on the same frequency. So time is of the essence. When we're done, I'm going to definitely give you a follow. And I'm going to share some art on call center TV today. Come on. Yeah. what You got it. Time is of the essence. And the last one is. Art is art life. Is. Art is life. We got life. A couple of creativity and art is life. Y- yes, that is yes. correct. Yeah. I know when you said when you said uh, creativity is life, I was thinking he's gonna say the same thing for art. <laughs> art is life. Art is love. That. Yeah. Yeah. Art, oh, yeah. here's a, here's another one. I would say art is universal, mm. right? Even though it's subjective, it does mm. bring people together. So you know, I talked about earlier in the conversation. Like literal, like gang members, like don't, you know, <laughs> walk across the street when they come in your way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But they know me as the artist and it's cool. I get love from mm. everybody all the way to people from across the, the pond, if you will. Yep. Um, yep. Who don't look like me. Like mm-hmm. that's why I create with no judgment in mind. Mm. Like art, art is mm. very universal. Mm. So good. Nothing but gems. This is a gem conversation. I, I took, I, I'll tell you what I do take notes of. And I have several on, uh, on my phone over here. I take notes of the gems that you were dropping. So I have plenty of gems to, to nice. choose from for sure. That's so Freed, is there anyone you want to give a shout out to as we close up this fire interview? Oh, wow. You know, I'm so, so many people. yeah, I'm just so, I'm so personal. I don't mm. talk about anybody uh, that I know, and I don't know if I sh- <laughs> should. I'm going to tell you this. Shout out to my son, oh. Little Freed. He's turning oh. 13 on Thursday. Oh, yay. And he is a, a very gifted piano player. Mm. Um, so I want to shout him out. He was right there with me, and he was liking my videos and just looking at talking to me about it. He's a little kid, you know, so Mm. shout out to my son. I love you. Oh my goodness. Yes. Big shout out to little freed. Little freed. Shout out to you. Yay. Because we need that, you know, like it's just, yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice to have that encouragement from people that you, you know, you love and care for. Yes, absolutely. That's huge. Awesome. Freed, once again, it has been a pleasure having you on the Dream Aloud Art interviews on YouTube. Truly do appreciate it, y'all. So me and Freed are going to stick around, y'all. Artists, thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, if you're listening on the podcast, make sure you bounce back to the YouTube video to get the full experience of this conversation and click all those links in the description. Have a link clicking party and hashtag artist support. I want to see y'all come through. You already know. Okay. Once again, y'all, RTA stands for respect the artists. Love y'all. Holler. Creatives, it has been both a pleasure and an honor to have you sit in on our conversation today. So will you be the next artist interviewed? (laughs) Visit respecttheartist.com forward slash artist dash interviews to learn more. And hopefully I'll see you soon. RTA stands for Respect the Artist. Love y'all.